Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to test the ignition coil pack on a Pontiac Fiero GT uh, using a multimeter uh, set to ohms. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, what you'll need here, a uh, multimeter, and see if I can get a shot of that there, but basically it can read um, it can read ohms, so you definitely need that. And then I have just two little pieces of copper wire that we can insert into these connectors here um, because normally they're slotted. So with these these testing points here on my multimeter, they're, they're too thick to go in there, so I use those to slide in there to make a good connection. Then, of course, you need the, um, the ignition coil. And this is the ignition coil pack off of the Fiero GT. Um, for any uh, additional information as far as how to change it out, remove it, all that, please uh, see my other video on how to do so via the link here shown above. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So basically, there's three things that we need to test. So the first one that you're going to want to test here is going to be a, um, you're going to set your your ohm reading here to a very high setting. Um, and basically what you're looking for here is a, is an infinite reading, which is basically, as you see here, the 1.0, that's infinite. So as long as we don't get an actual reading off that and it stays infinite, then that's good. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and test this upper, this upper slot here. So go ahead and insert copper wire there to get a good connection. So we're going to go ahead and connect to that point and then test right here on the perimeter. And you'll see there we're still getting an infinite reading, so that is good. If it was giving any kind of numerical reading there, then you would want to probably replace that. So we know that that first uh, test is good. So the next test that we're going to do is actually going to be between these two bottom uh, inputs right here. So to do that, I'll go ahead and slide one copper wire in here to get a good connection. Okay, and then we'll grab a second one. And we'll put that one in here as well. And basically what you're looking for here, you want to use a low scale reading, and this should either be a very low number or even a zero. So I'm going to take this, and right now we're going to drop it down to, um, probably go down to just 200 ohms, very low reading. And then it should either come up as a zero or a very low number as we test that, so. Okay, so there we go. This is coming up at just 1.1 ohms, which is perfect. Because as I said, um, it should either be, be either a zero or a very low number. And since we're just tracking, not even in the thousands, we're just tracking just ohms individually, 200 ohms, we're coming up with just 1.0. Okay, so that one's good. So now the next setting that we're going to do now is we're going to be testing here the actual connecting point here with this upper slot right here. So we'll put this in here. And on this one, we're going to want to go back to a high setting. So I'm going to go to 200,000. And basically on this one here, um, it, it's not going to read infinite. So if you're getting a one, then that's bad. You need to replace it. But we're just looking for a very high number, but not an infinite. So let's go ahead and test that. We'll go here, test this point, and we're, we're uh, tracking at 200,000, so you're looking at 8.8 .8 on a 200,000 uh, setting, so this is very good, because you want it to be a very high reading, but not infinite. So, based off of that, this coil pack here looks good. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video on how to test the ignition coil on a Pontiac Fiero GT. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Um, I would love to hear from you, any comments. Um, as always, I appreciate all the support, so please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time.